I'm going to show you now how that you can in a restricted environment find files that you are allowed to write to and uh, for example it would be interesting to find executables that uh, you are allowed to write to. Now imagine that you're in a restricted environment where you cannot execute uh, arbitrary programs so you cannot bring in a program like uh, access enum uh, from sysinternals to see what you are doing what accesses you have. So what I did was uh, develop a DLL find writable files uh, which looks for files that a certain user can write to by using the, the Windows API and I'm going to uh, inject that DLL into Excel and run it from Excel so that I bar bypass any uh, restrictions on uh, applications that might execute. So imagine that I'm uh, first on my system that I want to prepare so I run my file container. This is something I've already shown uh, in videos, uh, but here uh, there's a, a small change to it. Now you can not only save files, but you can also inject files into the memory of, uh, of Excel. So we are going to prepare our audit. So I load the find writable files DLL into the spreadsheet like this. So. Uh, it is now created in this sheet with a name and you can see here 4D5A which is MZ and uh, the start of a PE file. And now I'm going to save this. Find writable files like this so and imagine now that I go to the system that I want to audit like this so and on this system I only have my command uh, shell and uh, find writable files to uh, spreadsheets. So first I open this one and I run a command and then I open my writable files and I inject this DLL into memory. So that's the address A170000. So let's go to the command and say DLL from address A170000. Okay, so this is my DLL. So my DLL takes three arguments. You have to give it the directory that you want to scan. You have to give it the account name for which you want to check access for, and then a file that will contain the results. And these three arguments have to be written uh, stored inside environment variables, so fwfdir, fwfact and fwflog. Those are the three environment variables that we have to create for the DLL to know its arguments. So let me create the environment variable for the directory we want to scan and we are going to scan program files like this and then the account I want to know what I can do so I'm test user on this system so set fwf act equals w701 test user and then I want a log file that contains the results so a result Dot txt like this and then we can load the DLL again like this okay and now it is scanning program files to see what accesses that I have okay so the scan is terminated let's take a look so we have a result file now 
and if we look into the result file I can see that my owner, my user, so test user here in this folder on this system has full control over this file which is actually the word executable so the Microsoft Word executable I have full control over this uh, executable so I can change it and by that uh, have other people run an executable that I chose.